The first time I went, I was 15 years old. I didn't speak English that well. I understood, um, I mean, I didn't speak Spanish that well. I understood it, but I really didn't care to, to uh, talk in Spanish. But my boyfriend, which is my husband now, he didn't know English. So that's where I learned more Spanish, because I had to talk Spanish to him. And that's where we basically met, you know, and fell in love. Hmm, what can I say about it now? <laughs> but yeah, we fell in love there, but we had our good memories at the plaza. You know, I knew Joe Garcia. He was our usher. Sometimes I would go and I'd say, is, is Miguel here? And he'd say, yeah, he's inside. And I'd run in there, you know, and vice versa. He'd do the same thing, you know. But we had real good memories. Except for the time that he had another girlfriend. He had her up in the balcony and I was on the bottom. <laughs> but we used to do a lot of uh, um, uh, hugging in there, you know, and we had a good good time at the Cena Plaza. Well, the theater, I meet a lot of people there, a lot of friends and uh, a lot of actors, movie stars, and uh, a lot of the theater. And, and I was a, I was a natural, and I was a manager, a city manager, and uh, I was there for, for, for five years. Joe Garcia, he was the usher. He was the number one usher in Tucson. He matched a lot of couples. And then um, he was so cute, so funny, you know, and he was always walking by with his flashlight, you know, but he was sure who to put the flashlight on. He never put it on the, and the couples. I remember my daughter and her friends, they were something else, yelling and screaming and hey, and throwing spitballs and, and they would climb up to the balcony and, and they would get some water and throw it down. Oh, the kids give me a hard time, you headache. The kids. Headache, <laughs> <laughs> headache. <laughs> and Joe Garcia. Yeah. He was a very interesting character, and when I say character, uh, he was notable. Uh, walking downtown, stopping by to say hello to uh, to us at the radio station, being so very uh, gentlemanlike, very decent, and not only us but everybody. Uh, Buenos dias, en Portillo, and Bertita, and everybody, and uh, very appropriate attire downtown. Uh, he, he was uh, he was part of the scene in the downtown days, whether it's uh, at the Plaza the Theater, at the Lyric, at Ruben Gold Furniture. There, there he was, always talking very, very emotionally, very happy, uh, particularly with with the with the ladies. There was a lot of boys that I used to like, and they used to like me, but I would never dance with them. I just and Joe would always ask me to dance, and I would always dance with Joe. And the boys would say, how come you're always dancing with Joe and you wouldn't dance with me? And I said, because Joe knows how to dance. He was a very good dancer. When they made him his birthdays, there was girls there uh, that had quinceañeras and they wore their quinceañera dresses to his birthday party. And it was like, uh, if he was 40, it was 40 girls behind him and so-and-so, -and -so, you know. And, and they loved to be in his, in his uh, birthday parties because they all marched around behind him. And uh, he was so happy. It would make him so happy. <laughs>